my name is Guy Wallace and in this pack video short we're going to discuss training and development events and modules all part of the curriculum architecture design portion of the PAC processes for training and development. PAC is an acronym. It stands for performance based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. On each training and development path are events. These are also known as workshops and courses and seminars and books and videos and other informal learning and social media type deployment methods. In this path you can see that some of these events are marked with a red circle. That indicates that that event, the content for it, already exists and can be used as is. On those boxes or events where there is a half circle filled out, there is content, but it's not quite appropriate to the need. It's not either complete or accurate or appropriate and might need some modification before it's ready to be used. The events with a blank circle indicate that these are total gaps. No content exists to enable the learning for performance competence purposes exist at this point. Each of these events on the path is designed and defined at two levels. At the event level, which indicates the number and titles of the modules within the event, and the modules themselves. This is akin to thinking of various books and their chapters. Two levels of design of the curriculum architecture design process. This enables clients to understand what they might get if they were to make investments in development or acquisition of various events and modules so that business decisions can be brought into the instructional systems design methodologies and processes of PACT. In this example here, Microsoft Visio Basics already exists and we know it's 16 hours long. Its recommendation is E for elective and it's a classroom lab. In the second example, Senior Manager's Orientation for Zone Managers is partially available. This content is recommended at a mandatory level. Maybe there will be a testing out process available, or perhaps everyone is just going to have to go through this one. It will be structured on the job training via a certified coach. Not just any coach, but a certified coach and it's estimated at this point to be approximately two hours in length. The third example, how to manage safety for zone managers, is highly recommended. If it's developed or acquired, it will too be a structured on-the-job training course via a certified coach. And at this point, it's estimated to be one hour in length. The Training and Development Event Specification Sheet, or Event Spec, identifies key information about the intended or potential training and development event. Again, this one exists partially, which you can tell by the availability status in the format on the left, up in the top right-hand corner. You can also see in the event composition that there are two modules in this event. The Training and Development Module Specification Sheet defines the next level of the design of a curriculum architecture design product. You can see the preliminary content listing, which is not all-inclusive, and what it includes. This data in that portion of the module spec comes from the analysis data. It is either performance data or enabling knowledge and skills data or a combination of the two. Again, a curriculum architecture design project does not produce any new training. It simply analyzes the performance-based needs, assesses existing content for its reuse appropriateness, either as is, after modification, or declares that it is not appropriate for this particular effort. 
A training and development path is designed with events at two levels, event and modules. All of the gaps of the training and development path are prioritized in phase four. And that would lead then to one or many MCD and IAD efforts. MCD, Modular Curriculum Development and Acquisition, and Instructional Activity Development and Acquisition are the addy like methods of the PAC processes. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.